and welcome back to my channel and I just wish everybody I hope that you had an amazing Thanksgiving if you're celebrating that and you had an amazing Hanukkah if that is in your calendar and also of course that you are enjoying the December Christmas days if you are celebrating Christmas. So I can just tell you that as you can see it's freezing in, uh, in Denmark so I put on my trusty sweater to be able to handle the coldness and I think that we should warm ourselves up a bit with some beautiful music and I want to dive into Louis Miguel with La Bikina which is a bit different from what I would like to wear right now but um, I've seen one performance by Louis before and it was just it blew me away and I need to watch some more and I got a feeling that this is like a different genre and this is a live version it's posted 13 years ago and yeah um, I can't wait to to see what will be going on and I will read the lyrics translated while I'm watching the song so that I can follow along and get the full experience basically I was recommended that and I think that's definitely a great idea why miss something out when the lyrics can be like 50% of the experience also if you like to subscribe uh, like to subscribe and like the video you can of course do that and you can also support me on patreon if you feel like doing that also and three two one here we go Que tiene una pena, dicen que tiene una pena que la hace llorar. Altanera, preciosa y orgullosa, no permiten la quieran consolar. Pasa luciendo su real majestad, pasa a caminar los días sin verlos jamás. La Virginia tiene pena y dolor. La Virginia no conoce el amor. Altanera, preciosa y orgullosa, no permiten la que eran consolar. Dicen que alguien ya vino y se fue Dicen que pasa las noches llorando por él ¡Mi mariachi! Dicen que alguien ya vino y se fue Dicen que pasa las noches llorando por él Dicen que pasa las noches llorando por él Dicen que pasa las noches llorando por él Ok, 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 this was, um... So first of all I was like, La Bikina is a bikini, <laughs> and I was referring to that in the beginning of the song. But to me, if I got it correctly, La Bikina 
uh, is um, is the person, is the lady, and it was kind of about this painful love where she wasn't letting go of this man, um, this unrequired love. And what's funny is that the lyrics was not about something really positive. But still, the music was like festive, um, and it worked extremely well. Uh, it was like it felt like a celebration, even though it was not about something good. But it reminds me about uh, the same concept is like Copa Cabana, I think it is, where it's also like a festive, a tr tropical, um, festive song when you want to listen to it. But then the lyrics are actually about tragic love. Um, and I, I love that. It was quite surprising for me. And then Louis Miguel, you know, the charisma he has and the way he just owns that stage and the audience is just incredibly huge. And to see this artist stand on stage and deliver in that manner with that confidence and charisma in front of those people, I just, you know, it was just jaw dropping to watch. And he's, he's just, I, I mean, <laughs> There is this next level confidence about him when he's on stage. It's like, of course, there is the audience he's interacting with. Of course, there is the amazing musicians. I absolutely love the choir. Um, it just gave me goosebumps to hear them sing. It was so folk-like and festive and it was beautiful. Um, and, and um, you know, still the whole thing was just coming beautifully together and also he seems to be like Luis Miguel in in like capable of really um, being spontaneous and just following the music he's really just in the music in both of the performances I've watched was live and he had this freestyle scatting like uh, piece in the song where he just followed the music and let something out and I love that he has put in space for that because even, you know, one thing is that it sounds really, really nice, but also it just gives and adds that freedom to it that I really think is just so contagious and it's just extremely enjoyable to watch him perform. Like he was strutting of great energy, cogginess, and he just, he was just in so much pleasure in that moment of what he was doing, having so much fun. And I just couldn't help smiling through the whole thing and just, you know, live <laughs> through what I saw or perceived that he was living in that moment. It was just so much fun. And I, I totally get why so many people would gather around him to be in that energy and just see that amazing performance with the beautiful live music, amazing choir, and also Louis Miguel just had a, a kicking voice, amazing voice. And again, there is this thing uh, I've talked about uh, plenty of times on my channel, when, when somebody is extremely talented, they make things seem easy and sometimes it can be e difficult to realize how good or advanced they actually are because they make it seem so easy. And he was just an example of that, like he made it seem and sound so effortless and he did like extreme, extremely well. And also I just, I have a weakness for those moves, you know, where I've seen the both Louis Miguel and um, the other amazing kind of legends, Latin legends. They also you know, take some time to really embody the music and also just dance. And I love, I love that part. And it's not some you know coordinated dance with other dancers coming in, like stiff and planned and controlled. It's just moving, letting the music move through the body, being sensual and in the moment. And oh, I love that. So thank you so much for recommending me this. And yeah, I absolutely love this music. And um, you can like and subscribe if you feel like it. And then I just hope I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I love you.